They just came in the mail. It could have been sitting there for a couple days for all I know. But just that last blue piece in the back, as I was talking about, a lot of it is for appearance. Uh, I do like things to be exact when I have any input, like tire pressure or uh, chain tightness. So it does give me some satisfaction in that area as well in terms of ease of adjustment and accuracy of adjustment. Uh, one thing I couldn't figure out is whether or not uh, the markings for the adjusters were etched as opposed to just stamped in there. Mickey, say hi to the camera, buddy. Say hello. Mickey, please say hi to the camera. Mickey. 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 Daddy loves you. Okay. Sorry about that. He likes new things. So here they are, light tech. Here's the box that it comes in. Sorry for the cat. I don't believe in throwing animals off counters, even though I do it when the camera's not on. But um, yeah, born to be moto. It's my first light tech product. Uh, they have a good reputation. Box is has a little bend to it, although it doesn't appear to have been destroyed or compromised in any way. So uh, instead of making you painfully look at me while I open this box, maybe I'll just no, it will pop open. There we go. Okay, easy enough. Revzilla stickers, of course, uh, shipped uh, when they said it was going to be shipped. Put that away. So there they are in the box. In comparison to Rizoma parts, Rizomas were packed a little more neatly. The foam isn't so soft. These weren't tilted sideways. Um, I, I really don't think that matters in any way. But I can say every small hint of extra thought gives the, uh, the buyer some security. Um, these feel very light. I believe they're just machined aluminum. Hopefully this will focus in for you. And there's those markings. Now I heard on one of the on one of the uh, websites that these markings were becoming worn off. So my concern was that if they became worn off are these numbers pressed in here or are they just stamped on? And I seem to be having trouble figuring this out. You know it actually appears as if the markings are stamped on, which is a bit of a disappointment. So I'm feeling the raised surface as if, it, as if it's just paint. But uh, you know, there is a chance they are etched in there very f in a very fine manner, so that I really can't feel the divot. Um, so already off the bat, I have a concern that this paint is going to wear off, and I don't know where I'm going to stand in terms of adjustment. And I'm going to wind up doing something fairly hack. Uh, another thing I could do is make uh, subtle etchings myself where this, the paint is now in anticipation. In doing that, I probably will screw up uh, the paint. So if I see them starting to wear relatively rapidly, I will go that route. I'll make my own markings and find a way to do it most reliably. And I uh, still keep these things functional because without those markings, you know, what's the point really? Uh, your adjustment is going to be even less accurate than the standard setup. So that's that. We have the uh, adjuster here. Uh, for these I do not yet know the purpose, but I'll show them on the bike. If there's anything else to, uh, to discuss on the bike, then uh, we'll go over that at that time. Just to show you the action on these, uh, as you adjust there is a uh, feedback mechanism, a clicker, and if you can hear that, you actually see this thing give way. And it's about uh, four clicks per millimeter, it appears to be. Anyway, just uh, to show the action on these things. Uh, also to show the backside, the mounting point there. Okay. Mickey, what are you doing? Tell these people you love them. Mickey, now you're caught in the bag. You're not a kitten anymore. You're not a kitten anymore. This has to end.
It's Minner. Just checking in with some updates on the S1000R. So the first thing is I tried putting on a new front brake fluid cover. Just in the reservoir here. I got a blue one from Rizoma. Thinking I can make a shortcut without having to mess with the tank. It didn't work out well. The increased weight on the top just torqued this fluid container even more than it does in stock. The lid is, even though it's aluminum, it's just heavier than the plastic. And that vibration is exaggerated. A lot of people don't like the vibration that's their standard. It doesn't bother me standard, but with that cap on, oh yeah, it's bothersome. So I had to get rid of that, and uh, we just move on to a, a full tank. Uh, very small piece here, just the oil filler cap here. It's got a, a race lock on it, which I don't think even track days require, unless you're in a certain series. Uh, it also has a uh, another bracket that fits under any adjacent bolt, so you can wire that down. Similar to the camshaft cover there. And we just put on those light tech chain adjusters that I was showing earlier on in the video. You can see these here. Certainly a different blue than the Rizoma and the Pazo. So it's like a blue rainbow on this thing. But they're separated in space, it's far enough. The blue on these actually match the BMW symbol, the, the best, I think, that has that, I don't know. I need a Crayola box to, uh, to comment further, but you know what I mean. And uh, these are great. These chain adjusters are just great. It's so easy to adjust. I mean, you can just click them in, click them out. They give you good feedback when you're turning them. Uh, the one thing I was concerned about long term, which I'll update on, is whether or not the markings these millimeter grade markings here will wear off because they appear to be painted on. Uh, I'm in Southern California, not a lot of rain, certainly no salt on the road. Probably one of the areas that receive the least abuse from the environment. So if they wear off here, they'll wear out somewhere else. You will keep it updated there. And we also have the we also have the RNG slider slash lift stand there. Those have worked out pretty well. So there it is. That's probably as much blue as I'm going to get without going too far. Just a hint on there. Make it your own, right? Other things I'm considering. My feet are kind of straight down. I want them a little bit further back. It seems weird. I'm like, my torso is leaning forward, but my legs are straight up and down, so I'd like to get some new rear sets at some point. That'll take some research and some time. Maybe a slip-on, but I mean, that's a lot. A lot of that is cosmetic. The sound is pretty good. So I'm not motivated to do that quickly, but it'll happen. And uh, I replace this tank as well, probably sooner than later. If I do, I'll give an update video on that as well. And the mirrors, I might go with Rizoma mirrors. Those Tomok mirrors look pretty good. They fit the style of the bike pretty well. There's a view from this side. And that black grill, no overheating issues. I'm not going to comment on that anymore because I think the likelihood of that is so low. Just rained here too. 
Figures, just after I moved to California, I had to get hit with an El Nino. I hate El Nino. Why can't it be dry and barren like it should be? But anyway, we'll deal with it. Better than the East Coast. The color scheme is better with that black radiator guard. You don't have that light silver color breaking up the whole theme here. That's it. Take it for a spin. Out on a Sunday. I'm gonna rip around.